HelloQuest employees, and welcome to November's webinar. Michelle Barnes here from Andrews O'Neill and Lowe. As many of you know, we work with the Quest Group to help administer employee benefits. In this month's webinar, we will be discussing Diabetes Awareness Month. As I said, November is National Diabetes Awareness Month. And can you believe that almost 30 million in the people in the U.S. have some form of diabetes, yet one in four don't even realize they are walking around with it? Diabetes affects one in four people over the age of 65, and about 90 to 95 percent of cases in adults are type 2 diabetes. Diabetes Awareness Month is an annual event each November to boost awareness about the risk factors, symptoms, and types of diabetes. Some of you may be wondering what diabetes is. Diabetes is a condition that occurs when your blood glucose, also called blood sugar, is too high. Blood glucose is your main source of energy and comes from the foods you eat. Insulin, a hormone made by the pancreas, helps glucose from food get into your cells to be used for energy. When the body doesn't make enough or any insulin or doesn't use insulin well, glucose stays in your cells. There are three types of diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, your body does not make enough insulin. Your immune system attacks and destroys the cells in your pancreas that make insulin. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and young adults, although it can appear at any age. Type 2 diabetes is when the body does not make or use insulin well. You can develop type 2 diabetes at any age, even during childhood. This type of diabetes occurs more in middle-aged and older people. Type 2 diabetes is the most common type of diabetes. Gestational diabetes, which for the purposes of this presentation we'll briefly touch on, develops in some women when they are pregnant. Most of the time, this type of diabetes goes away after the baby is born. If you have gestational diabetes, you have a greater chance of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. 1.25 million Americans have type 1 diabetes, and 40,000 more will be diagnosed with it this year. Type 1 diabetes occurs at every age, in people of every shape and size. Again, type 1 diabetes is when the body does not produce enough insulin. With the help of insulin therapy and other treatments, individuals can manage their condition and live a very long and healthy life. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes, and it means that your body doesn't use insulin properly. Some people can control their blood sugar with healthy eating and exercise, while others may need medication and insulin to manage it. A key part of managing type 2 diabetes is maintaining a healthy diet. Now let's discuss prediabetes. There are no clear symptoms with prediabetes, so a person may not even know they have it. Before people develop diabetes, they almost always have prediabetes, blood sugar levels that are higher than normal, but not high enough to be diagnosed with diabetes. Prediabetes does not mean that you'll develop type 2 diabetes, particularly if an individual follows a treatment plan and a diet and exercise routine. Who develops diabetes? You are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes if you're 45 or older, you have a family history of diabetes, and you're overweight. You also have a more likely chance of developing type 2 diabetes if you're physically inactive due to your race. Certain health problems such as high blood pressure also affect your chance of developing type 2 diabetes. A person is also more likely to develop type 2 diabetes if you've had prediabetes or gestational diabetes when pregnant. Symptoms of diabetes include increased thirst and urination, increased hunger, fatigue, blurred vision, numbness or tingling in the hands or feet, sores that do not heal, and unexplained weight loss. Over time, High blood glucose can lead to problems such as heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, eye problems, dental disease, nerve damage, and foot problems. 
which is why managing diabetes is so important. To help manage your diabetes, know your diabetes ABC. A. A is for A1C. The A1C goal for many people with diabetes is below 7. B. B is for blood pressure. The blood pressure goal for most people with diabetes is below 140 over 90. C is for cholesterol. S. Stop smoking. Narrowing blood vessels makes your heart work even harder. Also, follow your diabetes meal plan and make physical activity part of your daily routine. Now let's discuss diabetes in your Medical Mutual of Ohio plan. Diabetes screenings with an in-network provider are included in your Medical Mutual of Ohio plan at no cost to you. Medical Mutual also has a diabetes management program, again at no cost to you. If you have diabetes and would like to enroll in the Diabetes Management Program, you can do so by calling Medical Mutual at 1-800-861-4826 and select Option 2. Again, my name is Michelle Barnes from Andres O'Neill & Lowe, and I appreciate you watching this month's webinar.